As Chile ends its absolute ban on abortions, those defending life in the South American nation respond. It's sad to see how your country uh, passed by uh, all the scientific evidence, uh, all the reality facts that you see uh, everywhere, uh, pass by all the sense of humanity to approve a law that is uh, very to completely ideologized and completely uh, extreme because this law allowed to do uh, abortion at the third term in the pregnancies. Chile will now allow abortions in particular cases, including when a woman's life is in danger, when the baby is considered not viable, and in cases of rape. Until now, Chile had been the only country in South America to ban abortions in all circumstances since 1989. Carolina Requena joins us now from Santiago de Chile. Carolina, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much to you. It's a pleasure to me to talk to you today. You are a Catholic journalist and editorial director of the Center for Catholic Studies. Carolina, Chile has historically been a very pro-life country. Is that still the case, in your opinion? Well, really, this is part of an agenda that have been changing its values in Chile for more than 30 years from now. And, you know, uh, I can tell you that uh, in one hand, Chile is a debated country, is an example for the other Latin America's countries. But uh, these discussions of abortions come in a moment that Chile is facing the challenge of poverty, health mm -hmm. access, and other social inequalities. So the pro-choice movement used this difficult moment for us, for the country, to show the abortion like the solution to these problems. And uh, I think that talking about if Chile is or it's not a pro-life country is really not the question that we will should be, be we will should be asking ourselves. Mm -hmm. The thing is that the question is what will what we are doing today to help those women that are in situations of vulnerability. Those uh, the whole discussions have been centered on whether or not the life to the born is a human being or not. But uh, really, the problem is what are the women, Chilean women, suffering today in this situation? They, they uh, are victims of abuse, of rape. They live in poverty situation. So it's like the, the discussion, like the, the, the public opinion, the people are thinking, uh, OK, the pro-life people, they are not thinking about the women, and that's a lie. Was the decision to end Chile's ban on abortion widely supported in the nation? Can you give us a sense of the population's reaction? No, really, the discussion on abortion is not something that uh, worries the majority of Chileans. The hmm. Chileans are concerned not right now about more like the, the children's education, health, work, and crime. That's a big issue right now for us. But the issues that the government put in the agenda are not the priority for the nation. Uh, I mean, my point of view, Michelle Bachelet is trying to mismanagement, uh, try to cover the mismanagement that they have done in the real social problems because Michelle Bachelet's popularity has been fallen to record low. So you can infer that she. Uh, will be looking for he, uh, it's to end her presidential term with a greater popularity. And uh, passing by this law is, is very good for her. You have to remember that she was the director of ONU Women. So mm -hmm. she wanted, wanted to push this. This is a political goal for President ba Michel Bachelet. Carolina, what about the Chilean bishops or other pro-life voices? How have they been responding to this debate? The bishops in our country condemn very firmly the decisions of the Congress, but also they encourage pro-life people to continue fighting with a stronger commitment to be with those women that are, uh, in these cases, situations of vulnerability, to help them because now they will have the, the, the opportunity to decide if they want to practice an abortion or not. And so the bishops told us to be very near to this woman and help them. And on the other hand, pro-life movement react 
with very with a lot of disappointment because they expected a narrow result in the vote because a person who was expected to produce the technical tie, she voted in favor of the law. So they are like surprising, surprising and sad, but uh, even though they are still wanted to fight with all the strength. Carolina Urequena of the Center for Catholic Studies, thank you again for your time. It was a pleasure. See you soon.